in this episode of El Obrero, we're going to be covering the MS211 by Still. Uh, I am a new chainsaw user. I want to show you what I've done, what I bought it for, um, what you need, and um, what limits it has, you know. And I think I have the bare minimum, and this is this is the bare minimum. And I'll make some recommendations on what else you should have or get. Um, I'm working here with Mesquite. We're in the Sonoran Desert, so um, I just bought a fixer-upper. And um, somebody's already lived here for a lifetime. And now it's my turn. And... I have a lot of things to clean up. Usually I call my friend uh, Herman to help me out. But I'm going to take on some of this myself. Um, and this is what I'm dealing with. You know, some mesquites. About 12, 13 foot high. Uh, average of, you know, 5, 6 inch um, trunks. Some palo verde. I just took down and um, and let's see so let's talk about it and um, take from there if you have not subscribed please uh, consider I have about 200 subscribers right now and um, I appreciate if you did and hit that like all right let's check this out so this is uh, the MS211 and that is a 16 inch bar you have your gasoline and your oil uh, the oil lubes up the chain and helps cool it and and glide and the fuel you'll want to get you don't have to get this one but there's a it's a 50 and one if you buy this they extend your warranty by a year at purchase and then you also need the oil the bar and chain oil for sure you need that you'll need some um, safety gear I went with gloves earmuffs if you're working with a lot of overhead stuff get a hard hat and uh, a lot of people also get chaps um, and you'll need some sharpening tools it's not difficult we won't go into detail but pretty much there and there's a bunch of different ones you go like this you sharpen that and then up on top as well that's that's what you need that's what you need to get this you know be running for for the day um like I said, more safety gear would be good. And and then pack, I'm gonna get another chain just to have a spare. Um, what else? Some more sharpening tools and a hard hat. So the 211, I don't have the stats with me, but I'll show you to what I've done. It cuts through the two, three, four inches, five inches, pretty good. You'll knock those out. And this is mesquite. I don't know how it compares to pine and other woods. But once you start passing like that six inch mark, and I'm, I'm a first time user, so I don't even know if I should be cutting anything larger than that. Like this stump right here, this is like maybe an average of eight inches, six inches around. It took it took about ten minutes easing through it, cause you'll you overheat the the bar and chain, and you can um, you can I guess it just starts to dull. And then I'm trying to cut through this one. This one's more like a 13 incher, and I'm just taking it easy. But don't expect to cut through trunks like butter. 
um, either call a friend, buy a bigger one, if you have a lot of that stuff. Um, but it's been pretty good. Um, I don't regret it. Uh, it's gonna do what it needs to, what I need to do with it. So I've cut one tree, the palo verde. Hope you guys don't hear the wind too much. This one, I'm working on that trunk as well. The tree went like this. I don't know if you've seen another videos. So that's pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty light. It's pretty light, I would say. I don't get too fatigued with the weight. I think it's right around 10 pounds. Um, so that's that. See if uh, you need a bigger one or a smaller one. But that's what I'm doing with mesquite, palo verde, and then other just shrubs. I just went in there and, and cut them. So that's my take on the MS211 by Still. Uh, it was nice having a vise because then I clamped the vise, the bar here, and, and I sharpened the um, the chain. And uh, that took about 20 minutes. And that got dull after the two, after the, the two trees, the, the two mesquites. Um, there's really no troubleshooting. It just, they went pretty good. Just keep your blade straight as you're cutting. Because if you start to tilt, um, once the, the chain, I went like that as I was cutting the tree branch lifted because it was about finished. I was about to finish cutting it and um, it actually took the chain out of the track. Um, other than that, it, it, it starts really simple. You'll see a bunch of videos on how to start it. Um, probably max 10 pulls and it's on you. Let's go through that. You squeeze both, you bring this all the way down. You pull it two, three times. You pull the trigger, and then it's on the third option. You pull it about two, three times and then it'll turn on and then it'll go to, to idle. And if you want to turn off, you just turn off. All right, uh, maybe later I'll show a tune-up, but for now, that's it. I hope you liked it. Hope that helps. Please like and subscribe. All right, talk to you guys later.